I am a silent guardian. I am a watchful protector. I am the Dark Knight. I am Batman. Well, at least that's what it feels like with Eidos' new Xbox 360 and PS3 game, Batman Arkham Asylum. Batman usually has a bad track record when it comes to video games, but Arkham Asylum looks to be a promising step away from such duds as Batman Dark Tomorrow and Gotham City Racer. The Dark Knight isn't quite back in form from the instant classic Christopher Nolan film, but if you were a fan of the 90s cartoon show, you will be pleased to, with a new story penned by Paul Dini, who wrote many episodes for the animated series. And I'm talking about the Fox series, not the crappy kids WB show, The Batman. I wasted too many hours of sleep waking up early on Saturdays for that piece of shit. The Joker should not have dreadlocks. Fucking kids WB. Anyway, Dini's 10 hour long story flows just as an extended episode of the Batman animated series, chock filled with tons of classic villains all topped off by the Joker. Everything feels like it could happen in a typical story arc within the world of Batman, which lends to its great authentic feel. What good is an authentic story if it doesn't look like Batman? Nothing. But graphics look great with amazing structures and brilliant character models. Batman never looked so badass on a video game. My only complaint? That detective mode, which is used almost too frequently, kills the aesthetic. It's cool to see what the Cape Crusader sees through his cow for about 10 minutes. After that, watching skeleton goons running around backdrops of muted colors just looks stupid. Sound is driven by a Dark Knight-esque soundtrack. I originally thought it actually came from the Dark Knight movie, but this is all original music. Regardless, it does its job. Basic sounds do an all right job, nothing special to talk about here. Controls are simplistic, which is quite a feat for a character as complex as Batman. Fighting combos are difficult to pull off, but feel really satisfying when done correctly. Stealth mode actually makes me want to be stealthy. However, some bosses don't fit in the gameplay mode. You don't fight Killer Croc as much as you run away from it. The Bane fight feels like a gimmick. How you fight Scarecrow is extremely disappointing. I'm not going to show these because there's still awesome sequences that shouldn't be spoiled, but the input could be better. But in the end, you still feel like you're playing as Batman, which of course is a great thing. Presentation is what we have come to expect from the Batman franchise. Everything fits, including the extra effort to include patient interviews with villains of the game, as well as the story behind Arkham Asylum. Patient interview 21. Patient's name is Edward Nigma. But the hidden loading screens that are cleverly disguised as vent shafts? Come on! Batman is too awesome to be crawling through vents for 10% of the entire game. Replay value is helped a lot by challenge rooms. By basically taking the story out of the core gameplay, challenge rooms give players a quick way to jump into the game after being away from it for a while. Doesn't, I didn't play the PS3 version, so I don't know about the option of playing as a Joker in the challenge rooms, but DLC will keep players coming back as well as Riddler's challenges and finding all the page interviews. Nothing fails to impress in what will be known as Batman's finest video game out. Hey, 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 Matt, what? Matt, what? Batman's a cool game and all, and, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you finish, but Wii Sports Resort is the best game of all time, of all time. 8.5.